Hey guys, I know that I might seem a little weird, I already have my eyes made and my brows but as the title already says, like I wanted to show you guys my new favorite foundation it's like an everyday foundation which I can't use now because of COVID but I can't wait to use once we get the fuck out of the house it's the MAC Face and Body Foundation I wanted to actually show you guys like how it looked I know that I had the sample but like I finally bought it I convinced myself that I could and that I would and I did <laughs> so I bought this and I got the I got a sample of the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus because I wanted to give you guys um everything like the prep the foundation and the powder this is the mineralized skin finish natural so you already know that I love a natural skin looking foundation and I'm never really into powders but I know that in in its time like I know that this was such a hype product and especially for my dry skin I wanted to see how that would perform I think it still has coverage because it's in the shade medium and yeah you guys I wanted to try everything that's why I already did my eyes I could skip you guys into the important part the foundation I want to you know prep my skin do the foundation see how it looks then do like one coat then second coat then the powder and again use the mac fix plus to set everything and see how everything looks and i'll do one side with powder and one side with no powder to see how everything looks and to give you guys kind of like all around review and show up of what it would look like if you would use everything and if you would use only the foundation itself so if you want to see it first subscribe if you haven't already and then let's start <laughs> okay so now that we're up close i'm gonna actually spray my face with a fix plus I love this. I used to have it, but you know, I keep trying different things. So I never really bought it again, but I love this primer. It really hydrates my face. I feel like it preps. I wouldn't be able to tell you if it actually makes my makeup last longer, but I do for sure feel that it preps my skin so nicely, especially since I have very dry skin. I feel like it, it definitely does um prep it really nicely. Like it fills in, you know, like all the cracks, all the cracky stuff whenever I have really dry skin, it really helps it. Or if I have a very dry foundation, I know that I can prep my skin with that and it'll look, you know, somewhat natural rather than matte. Okay, so I'm gonna begin with one, one coat of the product and let you see how that looks like. I'm gonna go into the sample first since it's not done yet. And as you can see, you're gonna see it's, it's very liquidy. It's very thin and it makes your skin look very, very natural. Like it almost feels like, you, it looks like you have nothing and it feels like you have nothing. It feels like I'm applying a moisturizer of anything. So this is one coat of the product. And as you can see, my skin is not covered. Like you can still see the pimple scars and all that texture and whatnot but you can see that glow like it just looks like i've slept for eight hours like it's just a very solid from within glow that just makes me overall look more perfected i feel like that's the way that my skin looks best like it's not by the coverage but by how fresh and awakened i feel that's kind of how i measure my foundation so honestly for the day to day i mean the times that I've worn it out, it's been just one coat and it's been lovely. Like it fades very nicely as I said in my last video, like it doesn't like sit on your skin. It really like absorbs it and it feels again like a moisture. So like you're putting that on and it doesn't feel like you have anything on it. it lets the skin breathe and I love that it covers my pores as well. Like it looks like I have nothing in the pores. So it's not just so much the coverage because it's very light coverage, but it's like other than that it looks Perfect. And I'm gonna do another coat so you guys can see how much more it can cover, but I'd say it's a solid sheer foundation that if anything can build to something somewhat medium. And this is a solid second coat. I didn't even use the whole thing completely because I feel that at this point it's very very glowy like it looks sweaty at this point which probably is a little too dewy for me now but it doesn't cake up you can see that my skin still looks very fresh the thing is that it looks disturbingly glowy but in terms of how it looks with texture it, it looks like an, as if i didn't put anything like it as if i have moisturizer on rather than an actual foundation however in my experience these foundations 
tend to as they set that glow tends to go away a little like with the milk foundation the flex foundation it, it's actually it actually looks like this like very very glowy but as the day goes on like it's not as intense again i'm not i'm not an oily person like it it doesn't like you know become oily but um i would i would actually set it a little just for the sake of you know keeping that natural look but other than that texture wise plus 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 coverage it's like it drops down the intensity of your texture and your pimples like as you can see my pimples don't look as pink as they did like the scars don't look as pink as they did but it looks really really natural the coverage is very very light like i would say from light to medium if you you know want to build it to medium but i think one coat does best like it looks fresh and just perfect like i would leave it at one coat nothing else so what i'm gonna do that i'm gonna use the skin finish powder which honestly feels like nothing it's very it feels like it's very finely milled because it feels like nothing on my skin although when i tried it it did have some coverage to it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this powder brush actually the one that i use for a bronzer but who cares i feel like it would apply this best as it is a pack from a compact powder rather than a loose powder so i'm just gonna dabble it here oh dab that shit off and then i'm gonna pat this forward so this is what half my face looks like with powder as you can see the glowiness has not left my skin like you can still see that reflectiveness but it's not as intense as this one and when it comes to to the powder itself it actually kind of reminds me of the hourglass one although the hourglass one's like a tiny bit more seamless like more like nothing and this one like you can tell that i am i've been powdered down i don't even know i don't want to say that because you can barely see the powder but it definitely killed a little of the glow like i feel like the hourglass sets it but doesn't kill doesn't mattify or anything i feel like this kind of like sets it a little down but it's still glowy like it's nothing matte i would say and i actually really really like that and it doesn't look powdery at all it would mostly look power powdery on my mustache because i don't shave it i mean i don't i don't take it off so it obviously emphasizes it there but other than that, in places where I have texture or whatnot, I don't feel like it emphasizes it, but rather if I have something really, really dry, it does. But I feel like that's part of any any powder as well. Like the Hourglass does that as well. It's powder, it's gonna attach to anything as texture. But other than that, it doesn't really look like I have any powder. If anything, it looks like nothing. It's still a little tacky. And I don't know how to explain that because I already powdered down. I'm gonna try powder a little more. It's like it sets it, but it doesn't make it matte, which honestly is kind of nice. I don't know why I put powder when I haven't put concealer on. I guess concealer is off the table. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna actually give you a close up so that you can see my skin. So this is what the side with powder looks like. You know, it's not completely matte. It still has a little bit of glow, but it essentially, it's not like disturbing and glowy like the other side so this is what the other side of the foundation looks like it's very much glowy but it's like from within and it i feel like my skin absorbs it very very well i don't know honestly i'm okay with this level of glowiness because i don't have lights over me all the time so it's not like like it's highlighted at all points of the day and i would just powder maybe a little bit here and that's it but they look pretty nice like i feel like they don't look that different in camera what do you think let me know what I think. Do you think they look the same? It just, this looks a little more dried down, but looks like I don't have powder on, which is really, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of my face to kind of finish everything off. I wanna see how things blend into this foundation because I've tried, I've tried powder on top of it, like bronzer, powdery bronzer on top of it, and it doesn't get muddy at all, especially because the coverage is so light, maybe. But I'm gonna try everything on with powder, without powder, kind of show you guys how it looks and yeah okay guys so this is what the finished look looks like so this is what my skin looks like this is the part where i put powder and personally i feel like it looks pretty good like they did perform really well i feel like they do blend out pretty well both of them with or without powder i don't think any side looks muddy 
or it was hard to blend if anything. I don't think it looks cakey on either side. I actually really like the way this looks. I feel both sides look really well. I don't think one looks... Maybe this one looks a little more hydrated after the powders. It sets down a little, like it has calmed down a little with the glowiness, but still I feel like it looks so good both ways. Like it, I don't look cakey. I feel like my skin looks fresh, even though I have makeup on, like it doesn't feel heavy. Oh my God, I didn't put, I didn't put lipstick on. That looks really nice actually, grungy, very grungy. But yeah, you guys, I feel like this foundation is a plus, 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 and the powder surprised me as well because I have very dry skin and anything emphasizes, like I barely, if you've seen any of my of my videos, I barely powder anything. And I feel like this is such a nice find. Like if you wanna, you know, put a little of coverage and you don't wanna even skip the foundation and just wanna like, Put some stuff i feel like it looks good regardless i wouldn't even put any fix plus after this i'm just gonna put it for the sake of the video but i don't feel like it's necessary at all like you guys let me know what do you guys think i feel like my face looks literally the same just one glowier than the other but i feel like everything looks exactly the same how i did my makeup i'm just gonna put a little bit more of this oh my god it smells so good fix plus is the shit like it just looks even more melted into my skin if any like if it was even possible it looks even more melted into my skin i feel like it looks more from within rather than that i piled a bunch of makeup which i didn't go that hard but i feel like fix plus just helps to melt everything down like as any setting spray but i feel like this one does such a good job and it doesn't make me super oily or super glowy like i just feel like it melts everything down and it put the rest of the of the foundation on my under eyes because I wasn't gonna use any un like any concealer because it was gonna be a waste of time since I already set my face, you know? So I did a little bit of that and I set it with the powder to just see what that would look like. And I actually feel like it set up pretty well. Like it doesn't look, it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look dry, which is really, really nice because usually I, again, don't set anything because it looks really bad, especially my under eyes. My under eyes are also really, really dry. So yeah, it feels, it feels really good. I, I feel like this one, is such a nice find especially for the day-to-day -day. like i just feel it's amazing or if you're going to the beach and you want to look like you know glowy but it's gonna fade away but still i think it's worth it um yeah i, I really like the way everything looks so far so good so yeah, guys that was pretty much it for today i hope you found this review useful i know that mac like this foundation and this powder is not a new product but it's a new product for me <laughs> and I had never reviewed it and I never tried it and I really wanted to know what it felt like on dry skin and if it would really actually look good with the powder and I hope you guys again found it useful if you do and if you like it please give it a thumbs up comment down below what you think of how it looks I feel like it looks amazing let me know what you think let me know if you have any other foundations you'd like me to try I'm willing to spend my money for you and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one bye